Oh, for the camera, Jay. Oh, this picture's all glitchy. <gasps> You're a synthester. What? What the hell are you doing? Akiva's trip. It's been out for a while now, but have you picked it up yet? What is it? I hear you cry. What is it? <laughs> Thanks. Akiva's Trip is a third-person hack-and-slash game set in the Akihabara district of Japan. You take on the role of Nanashi, which you can ignore and rename to your own name if you want to. The game begins with you being trapped by these weird guys and they tell you that you've become one of them. They turn out to be some sort of vampires, but don't worry, as this girl Shizuku pops in and saves you, then makes you drink some of her blood to stop you from turning into a full vamp- Bren, what am I reading? It's a little confusing at first, but it all makes sense eventually. Okay, so the main bulk of the game begins when you take Shizuku back to your main hangout, Mogra, which is a gaming bar. And it's here where you will receive all of the game's main objectives through interacting with the various characters. Also in the bar are two mini-games which you can play. They're pretty basic, but highly addictive. One is a run and jump style mini-game where you have to punch maids and jump over boxes. And the other mini-game is a take on the tower defence genre where you have to defend these prisms from enemies attacking them. Like I said, simple, but very, very addictive. So what's the gameplay like? Well, it's simple but fun. Basically, after you meet up with your friends at the bar, you decide that you're going to rid Akihabara of all these nasty vamp creatures known oddly as synthesters. To do this, you have to expose them to the sun, so naturally stripping them of all their clothes is the first thing that comes to mind, right? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so, combat is basically a two or three stage system. Depending on what the vamps are wearing, you can attack the head, the torso, or the legs to damage the clothes in that area. Once the clothes are weakened enough, you can rip them off. You can attempt to grab clothes at any time too and frantically mash the buttons to weaken them more. Or you can just beat on them until the clothes visibly flash. Beat on them? Ugh. You can also block or dodge incoming attacks and if timed correctly, you can deliver a counter strike right after dodging. If you get hit, your clothes can get ripped off too. But if you find yourself taking a lot of damage, you can retreat and straighten up your clothes, bringing them back to full health. However, doing this in a crowd can be quite tough at times and you probably will lose your trousers. Your phone is the most important piece of equipment you carry in the game. It has a camera, emails, Pitter, the game's version of Twitter, your to-do list, plus access to a wealth of info about every aspect of the game. The emails pop in regularly and give you a bit more story, plus you can get sent mission requests here too, like from your in-game sister Nana. She's a weird one that loves her bro a little too much. There seems to be a strong bond between them, although sometimes the dialogue leads him to think this could start getting a bit, well, wrong. Later on, you will unlock this scanner for your camera, which can scan people around Akihabara. If people in the picture go all glitchy like this, then they are synthesters, and you can approach them and rip their clothes off! You don't have to do it all the time, but it's handy if you want to grind up your character and earn some extra cash from selling items that are dropped by the enemies. You can equip your character with various different items of clothing that all affect the durability of the clothes. You can get these by picking them up off defeated enemies, or you can visit one of the many shops in Akihabara. In the shops, the arrows next to each item indicate how much they will add or deduct from your overall armour rating. It's the same for the weapons, and these come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. But here I am, rocking this laptop as a bashing tool. Take that, you vile, somewhat hot vamp bitch! <laughs> You have a partner with you most of the time and you can swap and change who you go out on patrol with by talking to them at the bar. Apart from being handy in a fight, you can also team up with your partner in a fight and perform a dual strip. A special animation is given when you use this special attack and it's different depending on which character you are partnered with. All are over the top and genius. You can build relationships with the characters too as the story moves along, with the dialogue choices being quite funny at times. And the game does have multiple endings that can be achieved by playing on its different difficulty settings and making different dialogue choices. The main thing in Akiba's trip is the story that weaves all this pervy action together and it's well written and the voice acting is really good. Makes you feel like you're watching and taking part in an anime cartoon. There's other cool things too, like Akihabara is a real place so you can pick up flyers for shops that actually exist. It's a cool feature and really makes me want to go to Akihabara at some point in my life. Overall, it's quite a relaxing game that you can enjoy over time and keep coming back to again and again, nailing this sexy clothe-ripping vamp fest a hot game Gasm 7. There are one or two problems, the controls could be more refined and the loading between areas is quite annoying, and it can be insanely hard to figure out where certain shops are on some of the side quests. Often I found them by complete accident after searching around the same area for half an hour. But that really isn't enough to give up on the game. 
and it's very playable once you get into it. I hope more games like this make it over to the West as well, they're different. And it's always refreshing to not play another shooter or another bloody Lego game. I like the weird and Akiba's Trip has weird in abundance. Okay, and that was Akiba's trip, weird and wacky from our friends over in Japan. You didn't have to hit me. Well, you bloody deserved it, didn't you? Ripping my bloody clothes off. <laughs>